You mentioned something in the book which is really interesting about how you spoke about a bit earlier your journey trying to have a baby and going through IVF and how that actually was significant for you in this in the sense that your friends started to have kids and you didn't have kids and so yeah. that obviously draws differences because even you know I know I've got two kids and I've made friends with people at the school and then you've got to do extracurricular activities so you see them at soccer or you know whatever activity they're doing and how you have dealt with that yeah This was a chapter I knew that I wanted to write because very often when a woman who doesn't have children writes about their experience with fertility, it's from the vantage point of having eventually had a child. And it was important for me to write about something that is still very raw for me because I haven't had that quote unquote happy ending. And I just realized through the course of writing the book that the one constant backdrop to a lot of what I was describing was my own fertility journey. So I had gone through unsuccessful IVF at the beginning of 2014. I had the first of three miscarriages. My marriage ended. I then did a whole gamut of fertility treatment, egg freezing. I had an operation on my womb, my, like everything. I had two more miscarriages with um, my now husband and It has been extraordinarily painful and it is also thrown into high relief the rest of my life. And there was such a clear distinction between the friends who were able to be there for me and the ones who weren't. And I don't even mean that they had to put it into words or they had to understand the direct equivalent of what I was going through. It's just that during that time, Obviously, lots of my friends were settling down and having children without issue, and they became very involved in that. As I can, it's completely understandable that you would be involved in that. It's incredibly hard to be a parent, and there are those early years where you have to be selfish and you have to put your family first. But it was so interesting to me that even in the midst of that, there were certain people who would always make a kind of psychological space for me. So Emma had two young children during this time that I was going through most of my fertility treatment, but she always carved out some kind of space for me, even if it was that I went down for a weekend and stayed with them. And she took five minutes to have a cup of tea with me. And she would say, I want to do this. It's important for me too. I get so much out of seeing you and having you and having this time that is separate, that is time for our friendship separate from anything else. And that meant so much to me. It really did because I felt so seen and valued by her. And the other thing that Emma always did was ask my opinions and ask me for advice on parenting, on her children. You know, I adore and love her children. I know them really well now. And so to be valued as someone who doesn't have children of her own, but might have an interesting perspective is also very, very meaningful. But there were certain friends during this time who never put that level of thought into what their friendships meant to them and would simply expect me as the childless woman to be living this footloose fancy free life where I'd be swilling cosmopolitans whilst night clubbing in stilettos and um, they would always expect me to make the effort to come to them to be involved in their family life to turn up to children's birthday parties with presents to hold their babies and and There are some people who will absolutely love doing that and more power to you. I found it really difficult and very challenging at a time when the thing that I wanted most was my own baby, to be surrounded by other peoples and for other people to think that they were giving me a great gift in that and not to put in the thought that I, in some way, as anyone going through a fertility battle, might be feeling that this is just a little bit challenging. That's all that I needed was just that degree of thought. And some people could do it and some people couldn't. And so some friendships did fall by the wayside at that time. 